The UAE banned the US from carrying out airstrikes on Yemen's Houthis using bases on its territory. The US Air Force began to transfer its fighters and drones after Emirati authorities said they would no longer allow airstrikes against targets in Yemen and Iraq using equipment stationed at the Al Dafra base near Abu Dhabi, according to the American edition of the Wall Street Journal. The UAE government fears attacks on its facilities from forces backed by Iran due to the fact that Abu Dhabi is facilitating US military operations in the region. It is also reported that Yemen's Houthi rebels are continuing their attacks on Western merchant ships, massively using cruise missiles and loitering munitions. In particular, on April the 29th of this year, the Houthis managed to hit the Cyclades bulk carrier flying the Maltese flag from a distance of 1 to 5,000 kilometers from the launch site. Yemen, in fact, is a key point to control the Gulf of Aden, the outlet to the Red and Arabian Seas, as well as the Bab al-Mandeb Strait, through which a significant part of the exports from the Persian Gulf countries to the markets of Asia, the United States and Europe is carried out. After the escalation of the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in the Gaza Strip, the Houthis announced their intention to carry out attacks on Israeli territory as well as to prevent the passage of ships associated with it through the waters of the Red Sea and the Bab el-Mandeb Strait. While shipping through the Red Sea accounts for about 10% of global trade flows, Houthi attacks are increasing both shipping times and shipping costs for exporters and importers. Almost with the start of the ground operation in the Gaza Strip, problems with shipping in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden began due to the actions of the Yemeni Houthis. The tense situation in the region has continued for the seventh month and, as the Financial Times writes, it is unlikely to change for the better until the end of 2024. This point of view was confirmed by the head of the Danish shipping company, Moller Mersk, Vincent Clark. Clark said, adding that he was not optimistic that their ships would be sailing through the Suez Canal anytime soon.